years ago, Nellie Nigro was hospitalized for atrial fibrillation, a rapid, irregular heartbeat. Nellie has spent years in the medical field helping others, getting a degree in pharmacology in 1945. It's, uh, I never thought I would be a patient, but all of a sudden now I'm a patient. A real patient. Today, Nellie is learning about the latest in 21st century medical technology, a new cardiac home telehealth program that keeps previously hospitalized heart patients connected wirelessly from home to their medical team at UCLA. Yes, this is 148. The computer program is able to tell them on a daily basis to get on a scale that uses Bluetooth technology to send their weight automatically over the internet to us. Also, it can measure heart rate, blood pressure, and oxygen levels. All the information is securely encrypted and sent via the internet to the patient's medical team at UCLA. Hi, Ms. Nigro, how are you? This is Kathy from the UCLA Heart Program. Patients are also shown how to use a specially programmed UCLA iPad or other tablet to talk directly to the team. And I just wanted to let you know that I'm looking at your readings and everything looks good. Your blood pressure is excellent, your heart rate, and your body weight. Are you looking good too? <laughs> Part of this project, aside from the vital signs that we receive from the patient, is the actual patient interaction. And the goal is to partner up with the patient and have them be involved in their post-operative recovery. Nationwide hospital readmission rates for heart patients in the first few weeks following discharge are as high as 20%. But an initial study of the home telehealth program showed readmissions dropped to 6%. Telemonitoring is certainly like most things we have is not perfect and you can't detect everything. But uh, things like shortness of breath, which can come from fluid retention and heart failure, uh, just the color of the skin, the, the way the incisions look, and essentially mimics a lot of the aspects of a real office visit without them having to drive to UCLA and look for accommodations and parking. You can catch things before they, get, they become a problem. You feel more connected to your, to your doctors and your nurses are taking care of you. Through this more intense monitoring and more frequent virtual visits, it's hoped eventually most heart patient readmissions can be avoided. I'm looking forward to talking to you more often. I'm looking forward to talking to you too.